Hello everyone and today we will see about Bezel convention. This is the first convention for uh, prevention of uh, hazardous waste transport and uh, from one country to another country okay and this convention has been signed in Basel which is located in Switzerland so that's why it is called as Basel convention so why we need this convention okay so uh, in early 1970s so what happens in developed countries as per the after the Stockholm convention and uh, so what happened after 1970s the environment rules and laws become very much day by day strict okay so due to the increasing in strict strictness of uh, environment laws so developed country what they started to doing whatever they are manufacturing or whatever their activity doing and the waste the remaining waste they cannot dump in the their country because some environment laws so what they do they will send this waste as a object as a trading they are they were doing trading okay trading of waste so they will what they were doing they were selling to the developing country and poor country not selling but they are dumping in this country because in this country developing and uh, poor countries there, there is no such uh, uh, protocol or uh, any law regarding the waste management so what happens the developed country they are making the products or doing this activity and whatever the hazardous waste coming they are sending into poor countries and developing countries so ultimately the people who are living in that country they have to suffer though they have did not did anything they do not have contributed in environment uh, impact and global warming and climate change so ultimately they have to suffer okay so that's why due to this and this transfer of uh, hazardous waste from one country to another country that is known as transboundary movement okay here it is shown transboundary movement of the waste okay so here it is in historical background it is mainly that before 1930 there is not such law and after the law this transboundary movement happened and there is no legal framework okay in this developing country and this is toxic colonization this sending the waste it is become toxic colonization and due to this a basel convention has been came into an account okay so what is the general overview about basel convention that is it the the main aim and this is a legal legal instrument that is legal binding agreement if the country is signed then it has to be followed so this it is a control of transboundary movement of hazardous waste and their disposal what is the hazardous waste and disposal like uh, in chemical industry what are the hazardous chemical uh, is left out that is the radioactive waste e-waste plastic waste and all other waste whatever you can count up to we will see in later how many that are categories in hazardous waste they have in as per the basel convention okay so this is this has been adopted in 1989 and came into enforce in 1992 currently there are 180 plus countries in this they have signed it okay and there are some uh, sub protocols are also there under this but not such important okay so this is the main objective it is a control of transboundary movements or hazardous waste from one country to another country and this is the map that which countries have signed till date okay now the main goal is why this convention has been came so to stop the transboundary movement why to stop transboundary movement to protect the human health and environment health because uh, for example a uh, lots of chemical waste that has been dumped, dumped into poor country in the rivers and ponds so in poor country they they do not have the such such kind of mechanism to clean the chemical waste or, or any technology so they have to suffer from a uh, drought and uh, if they eat, drink that water so that some uh, water water causing disease also happen and uh, death rate increase and there is a, a pandemic created over there so to protect human and environment health from adverse effect of this hazard waste because hazard waste have much more uh, 
वेस्ट मच मोर कॉजिंग टेंडेंसी टू डैमेज अवर हेल्थ ओके एंड दिस इज नॉट वन सिंगल ऑब्जेक्टिव बट देर आर सम फर्दर ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑल्सो दैट इज अ रिडक्शन ऑफ मूवमेंट ऑल्सो स्टॉप वी हैव टू स्टॉप दिस बट सडनली नॉट फर्स्ट ग्रेजुअली रिड्यूस एंड देन स्टॉप इफ यू स्टॉप बट if we cannot put control over the generation of waste then what happen the illegal smuggling of this waste happen so also minimize the generation of it and promotion of the environment friendly uh, management system like uh, uh, for example a wave a plastic waste is a paper waste is from industry so we can recycle it paper to some send it to some another industry from where this uh, raw paper or waste paper is a used as a fuel or raw material so this is a we can say that green economy or environment friendly economy so to create such kind of opportunities so these are the main objectives first to uh, to stop transboundary movement of hazardous waste second to minimize this the production of this hazardous waste and to promote recycling and environment friendly economy and what are this waste because this way toxicity corrosivity inignitability reactivity so due to this reason so the the waste which waste that is clinical waste from hospital mining waste industrial waste agricultural waste okay and some uh, pops okay permanent organic pollutant okay so till now there was 27 specific categories of this waste okay till that there are say, special 27 like uh, these are more hazardous less hazardous e waste and for the radioactive or uh, nuclear waste there is a separate law that is uh, and it strictly prohibits that uh, whatever the country for for example suppose country x is produce, producing some radioactive waste so it has to be dumped or treated in that x country within that territory only this is the strict protocol we cannot uh, Uh, you cannot send to other country and treat no okay but there are some relaxations also okay in this uh, convention what are the relaxation the first is if the exporting country suppose x country it is exporting some uh, waste material to y country okay so now if the capacity is not there okay so they can send to different country where this uh, disposal facility is there okay but uh, they have to give prior concern about it so this is the first relaxation then second country second uh, relax relaxation is that if the exporting country uh, does not have disposal site but they have site for example if x country have disposable site but not in a very effective manner uh, compared to y country so due to because of the prior concern of country y they both uh, they give to consent about this to united nations and at the basel so if they permit then you can also send for example if country x there is some place to you can dump the waste but not properly in scientific manner but in country y there is also a place where you can dump but in scientific manner so at that time there is a relaxation so you can send to one country to another country that is transboundary and something like uh, whatever waste is generated from country x so it can be used as a raw material of some of the industry in country y so it in that case you can also send from one country to another country but you have to give the proof okay and there is continuous monitoring of this thing also okay and one is coco one is mechan call is coco mechanism or coco so what happened uh, that in that italy is sending a huge amount of waste in nigeria so this is this is a operation co cooperation from which we have found that italy is sending to nigeria i am not blaming to any country but this is a fact okay so by basel convention uh, we have restricted successfully so these are some uh, positive outcomes okay and uh, this in this this is all the things that i uh, earlier mentioned that, that is written because first identify the waste from where it is to be generated then geographical area first what is the waste is generated find out then where is to be generated locate it and where it is to be dumped make the collect the data make a road map and 
classify the waste according to the level of their hazardous and different different uh, chemical composition and then pro process it in specific manner so this is the strategic framework and uh, by doing this this is a very much successful at international level so what is a uh, and some more thing that is uh, we have seen the example of italy and nigeria so there is one provision is also there uh, if uh, any country has uh, sent too much uh, hazardous waste in some other country so that country for example suppose country x has sent too much amount of hazardous waste to country y so they have to take back that waste and the country x also has to give the some compensation in terms of money or any other technology things that is this is also provision in basel protocol okay so this is why uh, the basel convention is very successful and uh, there is some people might think that for example country x has signed this basel convention and country z has not signed so there is no restriction so country x can easily send no but in basel convention it is clearly mentioned that those country who did not have signed this protocol but you cannot send it to that country also okay so there is compensation provision is also there uh, due to the waste whatever the loss is there so the country which have send the waste they have to send the compens they have to uh, provide the compensation for it also okay so this is about the bezel protocol bezel convention and this question has been asked in engineering service 2020 exam okay upsc engineering service 2020 exam also this question has been asked so the main point that we can conclude from this is it is uh, main convention to stop transboundary movement okay hazardous waste and there's categorization okay and what are the some objective that i've already told you to protect human and environment health and uh, to minimize this waste heat generation okay sorry waste generation and that to um, provide monitoring also monitoring and control this thing that you have to know that you can this is the only thing you can uh, read about it as per the exam point of view hope you clear it and you like this video in the next video we will meet with some next convention so till then keep studying stay focused and subscribe this for upcoming videos and their notification thank you